How we doing guys and welcome to the match reaction. I can't believe I'm actually saying it. We've won at Goodison Park. 1-0 to the Arsenal. And uh, I'll tell you something, that was one of the most comfortable 1-0s you will ever likely see. Um, it was not pretty at times, don't get me wrong. I think that we could have done things a little bit better. Second half in particular was a lot better than the first. But it was a stroll. I think it was nearly 80% possession. Um, it was just pure domination. It was very, very easy. Everton were toothless. Um, there's a reason why they were in trouble last season. And the reason why I believe they're going to be in trouble this season. Because that was horrendous. And if that's what Evertonians have got to watch every week, then my word... They deserve a trophy themselves just for putting up with that. Dice ball. My word. Awful. But listen, we got the three points and that's the most important thing. And the one quality bit of play, the one piece we got right. What a goal. What a superb goal that was. But I will get onto that in a moment. In the first half, like I said, we controlled things. But there was a... Um, a lack of penetration. There was just, in that final third, it was just a little bit too slow. We was recycling the ball a little bit too much. Um, and Everton, playing a low block, were able to, you know, set up in numbers and, um, you know, frustrate us. There was one moment where we did get through and we did score. And it was ruled out by VAR for offside. Now... I'm going to speak about this, okay? Because you need to know the laws of the game. Some people say rules. It's not actually rules. It's laws. Now, I've had a look at the laws of the game. And the easiest way to break this down, okay, is a player in an offside position is not deemed to be offside if the opposition passes, you know, them the ball. Now... It wasn't, in your eyes, initially, a deliberate pass back, okay? Because that's what you'd normally say, it's a deflection. But you need to look at the laws. The laws state that if a player attempts to block a pass, a movement or something, which is what Gabriel was trying to do. Gabriel was trying to pass to the right of him. Never in a million years was he trying to pass to Eddie and Ketia. He was just trying to, you know, pass a simple five-yard ball to his right-hand side. The Everton player has closed him down and gone to intercept that pass. The ball then hits the Everton player and deflects into Eddie and Ketia, who is in an offside position. Now, because the Everton player has made the attempt to stop the Arsenal player, Gabriel, making the pass. It's classed as a deliberate action, which then means Eddie Nketiah is not offside. Does that clarify things? Does that break it down for you? If the people that run the game don't know the rules of the game or the laws of the game, as I say... Um, what chance we got? I'm not going to sit here and argue about Eddie being offside because we already know now. doesn't matter what angle you show. You know, the VAR offside uh, system they use is calibrated by the byline and the touchline. He's offside. Whether it's an inch or a mile, it's offside. Um, but it's not offside because of how the ball got to him. It's as simple as that. So I hope you understand. Um, we came out for the second half, completely different. Uh, more on the front foot, opening five minutes. Martin Odegaard should have scored. Um, and that kind of set the tone for the rest of the game. And then there was that one moment. Um, and we set up this tactic today, which I noticed from corners, that we were always going two man on a corner and taking them short. And we were very, very calculated in how we took those corners. There was no rush. There was no, you know what I mean? We were just taking our time over them and trying to 
frustrate Everton and pull them out of their places. And that's exactly what happened and it worked. Um, and it was just a brilliant goal all round. The combination play and everything else. And, you know, Trossard's superb finish. And, um, yeah, that's the winning goal of the game. And, um, you know, we had chances after that. Vieira in particular should have scored. Um, but, yeah, it was just so comfortable. Everton didn't do anything. They were toothless. Um, David Rea, he couldn't have asked for a better game to go in goal. Um to be quite honest with you. And at the end of the day, people were talking about this decision to play Rhea before the game. In all honesty, you could have played Bob Wilson in goal because he didn't have nothing to do. Um, but when he was called upon in terms of his distribution, his handling, and just his overall calmness in the, you know, the 18-yard box and whatnot, he was very, very good. And... Um, it's going to be difficult for Ramsdale. That's a right old battle, that is. And there is being talk that Rhea was playing today and Ramsdale's going to come back in for the Champions League match on Wednesday. Mm, interesting. Especially when we've got the North London derby next weekend against Spurs. Can't get that one wrong and who goes in goal. But, um, yeah, Rhea, he just looked very calm and composed and everybody around him did also. Don't get me wrong. There's going to be a lot tougher test for David Rea if he's, you know, going to be the number one for Arsenal. But, yeah, in terms of debuts, that's a decent one, to be honest with you. And um, I don't think he could have asked for or wished for um, a more easier game to make his debut in. So, um We've got the three points and that is the most important thing. I think that, um, like we said, when we go into a game, Goodison Park, it's always difficult. It's always going to be a problem. But we got those three points and we were very different today. And uh, we stood up for any minor tests that they, you know, put our way. And um, unlike last season when... They bullied us, to be honest, and they outfought us and they wanted it more. I think the players said today, that's not going to happen again. And we're going to rectify the mistakes of last season. And, you know, you're looking at it now, five games in, uh, 13 points out of 15. Yeah, it's frustrating. We dropped those two points at home against Fulham. Um, but whilst we've been trying a few new things and, you know, it hasn't clicked, shall we say, that's not a bad return, and I'm happy with that. And you've got to think two of the away games that we've had. Uh, Crystal Palace, notoriously um, a difficult place for us to go, a difficult place for a lot of teams to go. Um, go there um, in complete control of the game until the red card, and then it's backs to the wall and defend well, clean sheet. And then this one, Everton, on paper, you look at it and think very easy, comfortable win. But given our record at Goodison, it's a, it's a leveller. And it's not going to be as easy as you think. But again, we go there, we get the goal, we completely dominate the game, another clean sheet. So I'm looking at that and I'm saying, yeah, OK, I'll take those so far. Um, in terms of the home games, not in a forest. Um, you've got to be saying you pick up three points. Fulham should be picking up the three points, especially when they go down to 10 men and you don't see that one through. Manchester United, I know our record at home is always good against them, but it's Manchester United, the history and everything of the game. So it's always going to be one of those ones. Um, so, yeah, coming back from the international break, Champions League's about to start. I'm happy so far. It's good. And um, if you can pick up the points and, you know, keep yourself ticking over when you're not at 100%, it's always a good sign. But like I said, the real test is going to be starting now with Champions League. Um, on the horizon and then going into the other games and everything else and you know we'll see what happens with that because we're going to be you know playing European football and Spurs are not and yeah listen it's um, always a big one North London derby but we'll get into that later on in the week and whatnot so listen that is it for my match reaction um, it's three points it's a win at Goodison um, and I'm happy about that um, there's going to be some player ratings tomorrow 
And um, yeah, there's going to be the preview and everything else for the game in the Champions League on Wednesday. I'm going to be doing a watch along for that one as well. Um, then there'll be the match reaction player ratings and then we can go and talk about the North London derby and there will be a watch along for the North London derby as well. I'm excited about that. I don't know if I'm excited. Depends what happens on the pitch. But listen, um, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you press the notification bell um, and let me know in the comments section what you think about that game. So until the next time, I'll see you lot soon. I'm out of here.